Welcome to hole number one of the Far East Nine Hole Cup. Here, all par fours. I think this is a pretty cool setup. Extra mile on a Titan. Speaking of setting up, four and a half top, two right. And I'm playing it just up past this bunker. You'll see how we play this. 10% max on the pull. I'm gonna push this one up to max, and then you'll notice how I'm gonna give this a little bit of overpower and a little bit of curl. Depending on your club and ball combination, you'll have to adapt accordingly. This is a general guide, not intended for every single scenario or wind condition, just to give us an idea how to play these holes, to give us an ability to set up and get ready for the tournament. Guys, ericgaming.com. I have free notes posted based on this video as well. I'll be posting pro notes throughout the nine hole. We're always making free notes for the nine hole and pro and posting them up there for everyone. Now, I don't recommend landing on the fairway here. Try to get your ball guide onto the green because it's flatter, okay? Two bars of backspin, I got this one aimed right at the cup. If you're on that fairway, it's really kind of sloped and you get inconsistent landing and outcomes on your shot. So keep that in mind, 10% minimum distance here. I know I'm not at exact min, uh, but it plays pretty darn much the same. I'm really looking forward to this. I think these par four tournaments are a really good format and I find them a lot of fun. There's tons of eagles in this video, so stick around to the end. I think you're gonna really enjoy the shots. I'll show you a couple of varieties for a few of the holes, but this one, get the hole. Hole number two, now I'm showing you two methods here. The first one is on the left hand side. Going four and a half top, a bar of left spin and just using a marlin. I kind of have low expectations on this play. It's, uh, it's an interesting hole. There's also a little light post up on the left here. You can see just to the right of the skinny fairway. We're trying to either be before it or after it. So 10% max. Uh, I think I played zero there in the video and then I hit a big great, but just 10% max straight ahead. Nothing crazy. This one is pretty, pretty makeable drive, you know, so no great balls. And you might need a little bit of left curl there just a smidge, okay? Uh, it's all gonna depend on the wind in the tournament, of course. But from about 350, we're looking in between a sniper or a long iron here. Um, just because I have a bit of headwind, I choose to play this with a min sniper and a bunch of backspin. You could play it, of course, back with a long iron and a little bit of topspin. Uh, it's gonna depend, you know, on you. 10% min is the base adjustment here, but for this particular shot, I probably should have played this closer to zero. Uh, so keep that in mind. You know, we always have to tweak it for the tournament. These videos that anybody makes are fantastic. I especially love, you know, Ben and Tommy putting out beautiful content, uh, but they always have to be kind of tweaked as needed during the live play. So here we go, comes in very nicely. Now I'm gonna show you the rough bump coming in from the right hand side. Okay, so hole two once again, but this is a completely different setup. I've got a quasar and a quarterback. I'm gonna play this one with three top, two bars of right spin with the current game side spin values, but nothing really changes here. Um, I'm gonna push this shot to max after we make the 10% pull. 10% max, we're gonna push it back up because it's a level seven QB. If you have a level 10 QB, you got a bit more power, you're not gonna to need to push up for that extra distance uh, unless it's like a really harsh headwind. So give it about a half a ball to three quarters a ball of curl and I'm gonna go like 50% over power or so just to get this one into the range we are looking for to, to be able to play the rough bump here. So just kind of past that bunker on the left into the open fairway here will set us up very nicely for the second shot. 0% or say negative 10 is your kind of baseline here of where you're looking at. I'm recommending the Goliath, even though you see me with the backbone here, you only need about three and a half top. And I like to use one bar of right spin here. So you can achieve three and a half top with clubs other than the Goliath. But I think there's just a, something for me and rough bumping with the Goliath. Ever since this video was made, I've been, uh, I've been enjoying that. So play your clubs, play your way, play the game the way that makes you happy. Make your clean pull though, and make sure you're hitting perfect, okay? That's really the advice at the end of the day. Games are for fun. I enjoy having fun and playing it with you. So this one, again, comes in really, really close. Sharuba and I, we're not best friends, but my best friends are coming up. Keep watching.
Hole number three, I think this is a grade A scoring chance. I like to bring a nice consistent driver here. And you'll notice I'm gonna use the quarterback for quite a few shots in this video. And I'm using a Titan because I have a lot of them and it sets me up right at the correct position. But again, whatever ball could really work here, okay? Keep that in mind. These are not like explicit instructions. Four back, two left. And like I said, I'm laying up here on the right-hand side because it sets us up for a really straightforward second shot. Adjusting into the tree there a little bit. Don't worry, we're gonna get down there far enough. Uh, guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that sub button. I'm trying to hit a big goal this year and I like 60% of the viewers are not subscribed. So if you're getting value from the content, I'd really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Second shot played here with my favorite short iron, the thorn. Two bars of backspin is my standard backspin for the thorn. I just get used to that. Maybe you like one, maybe you like three. I'm all about choice, okay? 25% mid distance here though. I believe it's a bit more because we're playing up over the water and that gives it a, a little bit increased effect on the shot. So this is, I think, the only the second time I've played this hole and it works out pretty darn well. Keep that in mind. I'm looking forward to this one. Guys, I love this par four setup. I know I just said that, but I just think it's cool. I really hope they get the, uh, the servers all straightened out, though. I feel bad, man, for all the people that couldn't play the major. Hole number four. This one's a real classic hole for me. Again, with the quarterback, I think it's really smart here. Three top, two right. You just don't want to go quite too far on this drive. Just be careful just not to hit that bunker. So just setting it up here. Check that second bounce it's just about two to three rings from the right rough so I'll make a 10 percent max pull here and then we're going to give this one a lot of overpower almost max and this is a good ball of right curl well good ball bad ball doesn't really matter use that much right curl okay get this one down the fairway putting it into thorn range so nice little tree shot there no idea where we're going comes out beautiful you can see that rough approaching Probably don't want to go too crazy here just to find that nice little sweet spot. Negative 10% max, max backspin here. Go for the dunk, okay? Not a ton to lose. I mean, there's some things that you could lose here, but it's the shot we learned from Tommy, and I'm happy to, uh, to give this one a rip here. Kind of aiming, you see the black ring around the back of the cup? I try to yeah, when silence the haters. Yeah, shut up. Or, I mean, good luck. Um, yeah, so put that... Uh, ball guide just in the back of the cup there just underneath the black ring I'm making a negative 10 percent max pull clean hit here and there's lots of green to work with the only downside is if you hit the pin you could roll back into the bunker but otherwise oh let's go hole number five this first shot here this is a more conservative method there is a play on the right but even with a bigger ball and headwind we can still get this one to that last fairway 10 percent max i'm just gonna play this four and a half top one bar of left spin so we make our 10 max pull here through the trees find a little window i like this uh example because i don't actually have the grid on so you can see me adjusting with the take shot button there push the max is not a big distance uh, and then I give this one a little bit of overpower just to the bottom of the circle, not even breaking the circle. And, you know, it just depends on the situation. Just clean, clipping the rough here. It's intentional, knowing that it'll roll out given the circumstances. and puts this in a nice distance for a thorn shot. So you'll see then, sizing it up, using just one bar of backspin here. This one, for whatever reason, just seems to fit that. And I don't always stick to two. You could play it with two, however. That's completely acceptable. And again, the Titan ball is not necessary. I have a tendency to use whatever ball I have more of in my inventory. And, you know, you just have to do you. You could probably play this shot with a Marlin. Same difference. Just need a little bit more overpower on the drive. So clean pull. 0% mid here. A little bit uphill. Plays very, very nicely, though. Got to make sure to hit perfect. That's in the notes. Go ahead and get that eagle. All right, so hole number five, but this time stepping it up to a bit bigger ball. If you have huge clubs, you might even be able to get this one all the way to the second fairway without having to, to bounce it here beside this first bunker. But whatever works, you get a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes you get a little bit closer. So we set this one up four and a half top, one left. 
you can see here we're making our 10% max adjustment. And then I'm going to push it up to max, very similar to the first shot. However, bigger ball here allows me safely to give this one a little bit more power. And I'm going to bounce much further down the first fairway. You'll see here way down. There's more room to work with yet. But we clearly bounce onto the second fairway, which puts us beautifully into the second shot wedge range. I recommend in all scenarios, if we can get ourselves into wedge range here on any of these par fours, please go ahead and take that opportunity because it can give you a really, really good advantage against your opposition. Now, I got the Firefly. I have the Firefly in the example, um, but I do recommend the Endbringer for my personal taste. And again, I'm using a little bit of topspin here. I would play this with zero spin, uh, but it's doable in many different styles. You could go max topspin with the Firefly, I recognize. Um, but great balls with this club can sometimes be a little bit of a trouble. So whatever works for you, I support your short game in uh, in whatever way gets it in the bottom of the cup okay so hole number six i'd say is an interesting hole four back and i'm gonna play one and a half bars of right spin just laying it up with the quarterback right down the middle if you have if you have big clubs big balls i know there's the send it shot on the right however this is a really safe -er rookie approach okay so i've got the katana to quarterback right down the middle 20 max on that pull four back one and a half right and you'll see we're just going to put this one just cleanly down the middle just in front of that big bush second shot though i'm playing a rough bump david i know you love rough bumps come on shinobi let's get this one baby I'm gonna play one right and like 0 0.2 0 0.1 bars of backspin there it's just kind of what I did. Basically, the right spin is what counts. Get that ball guide to the pin. I've got left to right win, so I'm just setting it up on the left side here. And I got all of the red ring inside the rough and a little bit of the blue as well. Just as a little bit of an indicator of, that I'm not up at the top of the rough. However, that's also a method. 25 max on that pull. This is quite a bit downhill, and I don't like Sharuba that much. Uh, but I think this is a pretty makeable shot and, you know, one that I think many players will have success with. Hole number seven. This one is a very straightforward opportunity. Just get this one to this third little pad down near the green and you should pretty much have an eagle. I could see there that the quarterback wasn't enough. I just step up to that extra mile. Four and a half top. Just one bar of right spin here. There's a little bit of a rough in play but i mean as long as you're careful this shouldn't be too big of a deal you can see i'm only using an extra mile six and reaching here nicely with the p2 ball i would say even in headwind and rookie we want to play this one even with a p5 ball whatever it takes to get it down there from the left hand side to really have a very short eagle i think that's the most important thing here is to come away with a minus two on the scorecard whatever method works for you but look at this i mean come on i i just uh, i can't think of any other way yeah the right side you can go there if you have to uh, but it's a matter of preference isn't it so 20 percent mid here approximately more like 75 percent at slider uh 20 percent elevation 75 percent slider depends how you want to look at the shot uh, i like to use that end bringer school of play there so you can see i've got my win 4.0 and i'm just gonna go with the mid number but end of the day as long as you're getting that ball in the hole i'm not here to tell you this is the only way this is just a way one way my way that i have learned from many of you beautiful people so thank you for bringing all the love to the streams get in the hole bring on the next one hole number eight i'd say this is my favorite sharuba course hole that we are playing in the tournament four and a half top two left here quasar in an extra mile we're setting up here for a 10 percent max pull you can see how that second bounce is just over the last bunker if we have like crosswind here or as you can see now even a low level extra mile i'm pushing that up a little ring or two just to make sure that we have the distance required in a bad headwind i'd probably play this hole on the right hand side uh, but i won't show us that example this one here comes in very nicely though left hand side and sets us up you can see how uphill we are and that's why we're playing this one at negative 
20% mid distance. Now I'm using a backbone in this example, Goliath. If you've got a good level Grizzly, always a good choice. You just play your favorite long iron, okay? Two bars of backspin is what I set this one up as. And I think this is a pretty good opportunity for a drop. Like I said, my favorite Cheruba hole here of the three anyway. Uh, but I do think that's the toughest course amongst the ones we're playing on this Far East Nine Hole Cup. Uh, clean hit here. Got to go for perfect. This hole can be a little bit finicky. Don't beat yourself up. Lots of opportunities. This one's kind of in the middle as far as chances go in this course. Hole number nine. Depending on the wind, this could be the hardest hole of the tournament here. Extra mile. Now, I've got a Titan once again. You could probably use a lower powered ball here, okay? Four and a half top two bars of right spin and i've got that ball guide heading directly down the center of the fairway red ring on the right touching that bunker but that's all going to depend on the level of your extra mile 10 percent max clean a little pull here not too much required of the drive and i'm using like just about half a ball of curl not quite uh, but it's just, just going to depend on you know your setup so clean drive here trying to aim for that red post could have used a half a ball less of top spin but the second shot this was a difficult one this rough bump is not incredibly consistent but you know if you're worried just backspin it to the to the hole here and just try to get it close it's a big slope in front of the green though so it's a bit inconsistent i'd use a lot of side spin and come in from the left or the right if you're just going to bounce it if you want to go for this rough bump i use four top spin in the video here i recommend five four and a half to five and a half depending on the wind okay now i make a pull here at negative 10 percent mid and i think you know this one if we get it dialed into the tournament conditions can be a pretty decent opportunity it can also be a big pain in the butt. This is not the finest moment of the video, but I appreciate you for watching. I really think you guys are incredible, and I'm looking forward to going live and playing this one with you in the tournament. Good luck.